Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm now up on Powder Mountain. It's, it's, it took me about an hour and a half to drive up from uh, Instructure. I'm just going to show you the, uh, the vistas here. So we're, we're on the, um, the top. So Powder Mountain used to be sort of a municipal ski resort. And it served the, the community outside of Ogden, Utah, I mean, the larger area. And in 2013, a group of venture capitalists, um, including Greg Morrow, who were connected with a, a gathering called um, Summit. So Summit was sort of a networking opportunity for sort of connected tech folks. And <laughs> see, there's some various uh, <laughs> snow activities going on here. Um, so they were connected with Summit. Summit was sort of like this gathering of TED Talk, Burning Man sort of gathering. Um, you had to be vetted to attend and I think it was like a weekend of talks and it was like it would run between three and eight thousand dollars a person to go to these, these gatherings. And I think that was started in maybe 2008-ish and uh, over time, they created sort of this big networking center of sort of tech elite folks. They would, you know, gather on cruise ships or booze cruises and do these talks and build this network uh, largely of sort of tech Northern California folks. And then they got wind that this, uh, the top of this mountain was for sale, the ski resort. I guess now they bought additional land, so it's one of the largest just going to show it again the like one of the, the largest ski areas in the United States I think uh, you know I'm not a skier so but I read somewhere that that was the case it's about 81,000 acres uh, with you can look it up online but there's lots and lots of different uh, ski runs here and various uh, snowboarding and other snow activities so they bought this mountain and essentially they're trying to sort of remake it as an intentional community for pretty much social impact entrepreneurs and a lot of tech people. And, um, you know, it's it's very expensive to live up here, expensively the, the houses that are gonna be built are supposed to be small and fit in with the landscape, but it's supposed to be a social networking area specifically for the tech community in this sort of new social entrepreneur space of sort of tech progressivism. Um, and, and, you know, it's interesting because, again, I'll just show the, I, I don't know if you guys can but I'll zoom in. It's, I'm not much of a skier, so I don't spend a lot of time up in the mountains, but, you know, I had this little rental car and it was, it was kind of a little intense getting up the last seven miles of this mountain. I'm like, is this car going to make it? It's really steep and it's sort of at the curve of these two different um, canyons. So it's... Whatever comes that this might be this is a very out of the way spot and it's very hard to get to and it's very steep it could be sort of cut off and secured pretty readily um, I will also show here let me see I don't know if you guys can see in in driving up from Salt Lake the amount of geoengineering out here is really crazy and I don't know maybe everybody else has, has seen stuff like this before but I'm not used to being out in the western skies in Philadelphia we do not have these sorts of skies open about but there's this incredible haze and my hosts yesterday were saying how great it was that we went out to Antelope Island that the skies were so clear because usually they're just really really hazy and they talked about there being inversions that the inversions kept things really kept the smog in but now I sort of wonder if, if you know that was a Sunday and maybe the the planes were not out but today like the whole cl the whole sky is covered in these sort of thin um, sort of spread out spring clouds and, and you know I've seen a lot of specific um, trails coming off of the plains as well. So, you know, there's not a whole lot up here. I'm not going to walk around a ton. There's like a lodge. I'm not going to go over there because I probably will have to have a mask or something. Um, it's not super deluxe at this point. I mean, the lodge itself looks like it probably was from the municipal, uh, the days when it was a municipal ski resort, like just sort of a basic public access ski resort. I mean, I think anyone can come here now, but it was, it was sort of more of just a basic budget place where people could come regular folks to come and ski and but knowing that many of the tech investors including Greg Morrow are tied up with the ed tech space um, Greg Morrow was connected with learn capital 
and one of the key advisors for Learn Capital was Tom Vander Ark, who was uh, the U.S. contact, former Gates Foundation, the U.S. contact for global education futures, which was you know, advancing all sorts of scary things like people, people nares, and gen student genetic passports, and that sort of thing. Um, you know, and that I just came from Instructure and the data analytics. You know, I just I really wanted to come up and, and see what it was about up here because I think at, at some point it's going to be important that people know, like the landscape on which all of this is built. So it's it's built on. You know, I, I'm going to try to maybe head back down into Salt Lake City in a bit and see a few more things down there. But it's it's both this great basin, um, you know, with a lot of you know, money, there's a lot of money here, a lot of it's being channeled through the LES church and their investments, and there's a huge number of data centers here, data analytics, and then the Silicon Slopes, and then this is sort of the, I guess, the re resort bookend on the northern end of, of this basin. Um, so, and again, I, one of the people who gave me a lot of tools to sort of see all the stuff that's going on with impact investing um, spent time here, so I did, I did want to just come up and and see what it was all about. Um, so it's pretty cold, <laughs> and I'm definitely not skiing. Um, and there's not really like walking trails or anything. So I think I'm just gonna grab a picnic lunch and head back into Salt Lake City. <laughs>